Hi Santa Barbara, and welcome to this week's episode of Channel 6 Action News. We're your new anchors. I'm Gavin Cohen. And I'm Mary Cusimano. Here are today's top stories. Recently, fiery Olympic snowboarding medalist Sean White was charged with vandalism and public intoxication after pulling a fire alarm and breaking a phone at a hotel in Nashville. White was arrested after trying to flee the hotel in a cab and kicking a hotel guest who tried to stop him. The 26-year-old appeared to be extremely intoxicated, said the police report that was filed. Here he is. What a good-looking guy. In other news, a 14-year-old panda gave birth Sunday night at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. It was her second successful pregnancy with the zoo's male giant panda in seven years. Now here's Counselor's Corner. Okay, I'm Cameron Cunningham and this is Counselor's Corner. Juniors, Junior Family Night on Thursday, September 27th in the cafeteria. Information about UCs, CSUs, and SB Scholarship Foundations, SATs, and ACTs. Cost is $599, 18 hours of instruction. October 13th from 9 to 1, $15 for the practice PSAT, and October 20, 20th from 9 to 1, $15 for the practice ACT. This month there are going to be a couple colleges visiting the school, and here are the names and dates. Thanks, counselors. Here's ASB. Hey guys, this is ASB in the senior lawn. Hey. I'm Leo and I'm Andrea. This Friday is the homecoming game. At halftime, we're crowning the queen. Homecoming tickets are on sale. Regular is $12, ASB is $10. Guest is $20, but if you have a gold card, you still need to come and get your ticket. Also, guys, this Friday is Olive and Gold Day, so wear your Olive and Gold. Come checked out. This isn't even Olive and Gold, but I just pretend like it's Olive and Gold. So just for a heads up, next Friday is Club Rush in the Quad, so be there. I'm Leah. I'm Andrea. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, ASB. And now here's Political Corner with Mr. Emilio Madrid. Hi, my name is Emilio Madrid and I will be your new political correspondent. China and Japan are engaged in a catfight over a small uninhabited island in the Pacific. The countries are going so far as boycotting each other's products and dishing out missile threats. All of this over an island that's mostly rock and only five times the size of this high school. That's all for this week. See you next Thursday. Thanks Emilio. Now let's watch some commercials. Hey, what's up, Santa Barbara High? This is Juan, and I want to know, are you for or against Late Start? I personally don't need it, but I think it's great to have an extra hour of sleep. Yeah, I'd rather have Late Start. I'm for Late Start because not having it's whack. I'm against Late Start because I like longer lunches. Uh, I'm against Late Start because I want my lunches to be extra spicy. We need it back because that extra hour of sleep counts. How about the best of both worlds, a longer lunch and shorter days? Uh, so for Late Start, I'm currently working on a bell schedule where we would start at, at about 9.05 and we would have still a 40 minute lunch instead of 45. So I'm only looking to shorten lunch by five minutes. Still working on it. Chico Pitbull, Mr. 305, and I'm putting it down with DJ 411 right here in the mix. Die. Hello Santa Barbara High School. This is Jose Caballero with an update from the Green Academy. I wanted to tell you about our Green Club, which has started meeting. We meet every other Wednesday at lunch in room 65. Green Club networks like-minded environmental students and uh, connects them to opportunities in the community. Green Club is a work-based club. Um, students participate directly. They roll up their sleeves and get things done in the neighborhood. The Green Club uh, offers many opportunities for community service. Uh, AP Environmental Science students may qualify for extra credit. 
I wanted to tell you about the SBHS Video Bulletin Green Minutes, a segment in which we'll be telling you about Green Club events, environmental issues and topics of interest to high school students and people in Santa Barbara. To keep up with the Green Club, please search for SBHS Green Club 2012-13 on Facebook. So stay involved, uh, stay tuned for more details, and uh, stay in touch. Thanks. Hey, just want to let you guys know, if you're taking any medications without the health office knowing, you should go to the health office and find out. If you do take medication, have a form filled out by your parent or your doctor. You can get the forms from the health office or online on the district website. How are you today? Good, and you? Good. Um, are you wanting to check this book out? Yes. Do you have your ID card? No, I don't. Okay, well, at this point in time, we have to have all ID cards. Remember, if you want to check out books, you have to have an ID card. Imagine if you were in a car. Now that we're back from that commercial break, let's go over to the sports report with Elizabeth and a football player of our choosing. Welcome to this week's Sports Report. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Mitchell, filling in for Jason. Girls Tennis played yesterday against Ventura and have a tournament this weekend at Dana Hills. Give them a good luck high five in the hallways. Girls Volleyball won in three on Thursday against Oxnard. Here's a clip of that game. They also play today at Ventura. It's their first league game. Start the season off right, girls. <laughs> girls Golf played Real Mesa on Tuesday and played today against Ventura at Ventura. This is also their first league game, so let them know you're rooting for them in the halls. Boys Water Bowl has their Newport tournament this weekend. Give those studs a wink in the halls. Football won Friday against Real Mesa, 26 to 14. Here's a clip from that game.
This Friday is the homecoming football game against Centennial. Everybody better be there cheering them on. Let's go SB. Cross Country had their first meet yesterday at DP. Way to run hard, guys. And that's it for this week's sports report. Back to Mary and Gavin in the studio. Thanks for that sports report. This concludes our first episode of Channel 6 Action News. I'm Gavin. And I'm Mary. Goodbye, Santa Barbara High.